hi hello how are we welcome back to my channel it's Anna so you guys can probably tell from the title I am finally finally going to learn how to punch needle and I am so excited I've been wanting to do this for I think like forever I don't even know I can't tell if it's been six months since like I saw it like around Christmas time or well that's almost like I don't know I time isn't real anyways I've been wanting to do this for a while I'm just gonna leave it at that it's easier for both you and me I've been wanting to do this for a while and I finally got everything that I need to do it so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna jump right into it I'm gonna be making some mirrors because I think they are so cute um I got let me show you my whole haul honestly so I have two of these 14 inch embroidery hoops I found these at a little store that we always go to at Cape Cod I saw them for five dollars each and I was like I don't think I'll be able to find something better than that in a size like this so I got it and it supported a small store that I always like to go to so I got two of those because I didn't know if I'd want to have like two going at once or whatever or one breaks I don't know good to have backups I got these two I don't know the name punch needle I think it's literally a punch needle I guess I got two of a pack of two off Amazon I got a crap ton of monks cloth from Etsy I will have that link down below along with the punch needles I got I'll try to look for some 14 inch embroidery hoops as well um, and then I went to Michaels and I got some mirrors so I have two 10 inch mirrors and I got one 7 inch mirror for a smaller one so I know that this the 10 inch is going to be bigger than what I want to make the opening but because it's gonna be hanging on the wall the back needs a little bit of structure um, I'm hoping that this size will provide enough structure that I don't need to get a piece of wood or something else to put on the back but if I do we'll tackle that when the time comes we're gonna jump in let me show you the colors I'm using. So I got three skeins of the Red Heart Super Saver. I got all green. Well, I got two greens. This is tea leaf. I got this lighter green in the shade frosty green. And then I got white. And this is just soft white. So I got these three because I really have been in love with gingham recently. I think it is so pretty. So I'm making a gingham mirror for myself and I'm very excited. That's enough talking we've covered all of our bases and now we're just gonna go ahead and do the fun part which is getting started so grab your crafts your projects some snacks a squishmallow anything that you need and get comfy so we can have a fun little day of crafting hey guys we're back it's a couple days later and you're probably like Anna where have you been we didn't we didn't see any of the work that you did the other day what the heck Anna <laughs> that's so rude um it's because I just how do I say this started sobbing the other day yeah so I don't know what it was but I could not get the punch needle to work every time I punched it into the monk's cloth the stitches would not stay my best theory is because the actual tip of the punch needle was too short for me to start with um I just didn't realize that that would be too short when I bought it so I thought it would be fine um, because I tried a bunch of like the problem solving methods like making sure it's facing the right way that there's enough slack in the yarn that I'm not like taking the punch needle out too much between punches like I was trying all these things and it wasn't working and I was just having a day you know we all have those days and it just like really got to me and I just had a, I had a little cry we got all those emotions that we need to get out and I ordered a different punch needle so I got a different one from Amazon this is the one that I got. It is adjustable, so I made the tip of it a little bit longer than the ones that I had. I was able to actually get started. If you guys can see, it is much easier than I thought. And I'm gonna go get to work now. So I'm gonna set you guys up to watch, grab your projects, grab some snacks, let's get comfy and let's have a good time now that we can actually do it.
this is what we've got. I did the first and the second round in this medium green color. I'm going to finish the green tomorrow and probably start the next color. Um, but for now, I'm going to move on to some other products I have to do because it never stops. You gotta work multiple projects at once, baby. We're back. We're back. It is day two. Well, like day three, but like day two actually working. And I'm going to try to finish it today. There's nothing else I really want to do with my day. I have like a couple other things, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna put on a movie and sit down and work on my punch needle so i think you know that's just what we're gonna do um i'm gonna watch tangled i think because i'm in the mood to watch a disney movie i also really like brave but i haven't seen luca yet i'll keep you guys posted on what i decide to watch I'm back and I watched Luca and it was pretty good. I can't say it was like my favorite movie I've seen. I prefer other ones, but it was cute. So I'm happy I watched it. And in that time, I got all of the white done. So I think it looks really good so far because you can see the mugs cloth in these areas in the middle that don't have any yarn yet. It kind of just looks checkered, which looks really cute. But I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna add the dark green um, and I'll show you guys when I do it and I'm very excited because it's coming out much much better than I thought it would a couple days ago when I couldn't even get the yarn to stay through the monk's cloth so I'm feeling much more optimistic. It's done. The punch needle portion at least. I think it looks really cute. Um, I hope that it's showing up on here as good as it is in person. It looks like, I kind of wish I chose like a darker green because it's like not super dark. I definitely like, I definitely wish I went a little bit darker. I think it looks good. Like I don't think it by any means looks bad, but I think that's my only critique. Um, so tomorrow, Hopefully I am going to glue the back of this, like trim it all up, put on the mirror, and we will figure out how to hang it because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet um, to hang it on my wall. So I'm very excited. This is really cute and I'm definitely going to make more of these because I have so much more monk's cloth. I obviously have a lot of yarn and I don't have a lot of time, but <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow when I have more to show you.
say hey oh my god i was so excited i am mainly happy that i was able to figure out the whole punch meal thing and that this video wasn't a bust and i'm extra excited because it's actually really cute i really like the way it came out especially for it being my first project i think it actually turned out really well i really like the colors i chose i think next time i'll choose a darker green because it appears darker on camera than it does in person in person they are a little more similar um which i don't mind i definitely don't think it looks bad i still think it looks good i just think i'm gonna have like more contrast next time because i'm definitely going to be making more of these i'm having a really fun time um, with punch needle I have like um, a bunch of mirror designs figured out so I think I might make a couple to maybe like sell or something I don't know I'm just overall really happy because if you guys watch my videos you like have probably heard me talk about wanting to like learn how to do this eventually so I'm really really happy I finally learned and I think it turned out really nice so I'm super excited and I'm proud of me only one mental breakdown with this project progress this was fun i will definitely be doing more of these let me know down below what you guys want to see punch needle wise i think i also want to make some coasters obviously rugs like i would love to like do big scale rugs i know people normally use like tufting guns to do big scale rugs but like guys if I'm making one for me, I'll take my time and I'll do the punch needle. I like little details, okay? It does not bother me. So let me know what other punch needle related content you want to see. Because I definitely see myself incorporating this into my crafting routine. I'm super happy with how this came out and I'm excited to keep learning more. Um, and yeah, so on that note that's all i have for this week's video if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe for some more good vibes and hit that post notification bell if you want to know every single time i post a brand new video i post every thursday thank you so much for watching i love you all so very dearly and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye everybody